pieces. Those are kind of like reminiscent of the 80s stuff, so, but I didn't realize it was much earlier they started doing that. The crimped items, the pinch. Tumbler. Some of that detail, I've seen that on some pieces, but I just didn't know it was early Blanco. I like that piece, that peacock piece. There's another crimped. These are the Williamsburg pieces, huh? Nice. Those are nice. I have seen some bowls like this, but I didn't know they were Blinko. I guess they're Williamsburg Blinko. And I didn't know they did so much Bulaconte pieces. But that's a pretty piece. That almost looks like modern, really nice um, recycled glass. Very pretty. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. And then here's some pieces up here. Nice. These are Winslow Paris Anderson pieces. Oh, he took the fish. I love the fish. Crazy about that decanter. I've always liked that one. I have a red Winslow Anderson uh, decanter, and I think it's pretty early. I think it's 1949. They're fixing the stopper downstairs for that one. Don Shepard. Look at that. Very interesting. I like those pieces. Green and blue together. Very unusual. Oh, I've never seen the frog. How cute. And look at the penguin. I love this 1976 glass. Looks like it might be missing the stopper. Not for sure. Pretty. Oh, look at that eber. How beautiful. So, uh oh. Beautiful. There's a deer. This is some kind of bird over on the left. Right here. The deer. Looks like a uh, looks like a mouse. The horse head's beautiful. There's another bird. Another mouse. Looks like a squirrel. And a teddy bear. And possibly a some deer or a zebra. I don't know. I'll have to check that one out from the side. Look, that bottle almost looks like a submerso, but it's got some flakes of some other color in it. Really nice. <clears throat> Look at that. Never seen anything like that. This is the Waffle Bottom Ashtray. It's from Joel Myers era in the 1960s. This is an amazing piece of mid-century art. Yes, it is. Very nice. I love that really thick glass vase back there. It's hard to get my finger right to point at things because it's nowhere near where it actually... <gasps> actually is. Look at this. That almost looks like Somerso. Murano Somerso. Oh. Beautiful. Nice. That almost looks like a corn cob. I guess that's what it's supposed to be. How nice. And let's check out behind there. Ooh, I like the thick top of that one. And then, that's a horse. Could not tell from the front. And I 
I love the deeper. Oh my goodness. Or Epernier, however you pronounce it. Look at this. Look at this big mamma jamma decanters. Let's see who made them. It's a 38 inch, 1959 Florida decanter. Oh, look at that. Is that an owl? How nice. Doesn't say who did that one. And oh, nice. These are all membership pieces, I guess. Or the ones that are marked membership pieces. Look at the shape of that Blinko lamp. How pretty. So mid century. Beautiful. Look at that. It's like full of glass. Reminds me of Art Nouveau stuff, the feathery stuff. Beautiful. Sorry, there's a couch behind me. It's a little tight. Nice. Love that decanter, too. That's a different shaped stopper. That's it. Oh, I think that might be the donor. That 2012 piece, pretty. Oh, look at that decanter. That is from 2018. Look at the colors in the stopper. Beautiful. I guess that's supposed to be a guitar. That's cute. So beautiful. Love that piece too. Just love it all. It's just such a wonderful place. Everyone should come and visit. Check out this mid-century desk. How cool. Love it. If you like mid-century, you better come here. Here's the view from the upstairs window. Pretty. Here's the leadership of Blinko if you want to know the history. They started back in 18. It would be a shame if we lost the last Ohio River glass making company. Do everything you can to come and visit and support them. Order online too. They are starting their glass blowing tours again on the 21st of June, 2021. Let's see what they say. Blinko Day. I guess it's August 10th every year. Come visit. I drove all the way from Alabama to come up. I brought some decanters I had. I'm trying to get new stoppers for them, but they said they're so old. I have a Winslow Air Anderson. I keep wanting to say Arizona. I have one of these. It's a smaller one, but it's ruby red. And the stopper was broken at the top, so he's going to try to grind it down for me. I don't know how you pronounce his name, if it's husted or hoosted, but here are some of his pieces. I love him. He's a fantastic uh, glass designer. Worked for many more companies after, and I think they... So he worked at Biscoff as an undercover glass bar. I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on it. This says it was designed by Charlie Harsh Barger. This looked like 80s pieces. 
but it does look like that earlier piece from the early Blanco case I showed a few minutes ago. Pretty. And look at this. This looks like Just beautiful. These are some pieces up in the museum, some windows. And this one is in honor of the Red Bear. This one has no name on it, but that looks so cool. Looks like the Twinnies. Cute. And then this is in honor of Amelia Earhart. How beautiful is that? We move from those windows to stained glass windows. How beautiful. Look at the colors in that. I, I just can't even imagine. Let's see what dates some of these were done. Let's check this one out. Oh, this is done by Hot Crawl. I guess they used Blanco glass to do it. Oh, look at that. I guess it's Joseph and the Virgin Mary and the baby Jesus. And those are like, you can't tell from the video, but those are very chunky, thick pieces of glass. Let me see if I can turn to this side to show you. Look at that. It's like going to a museum and getting up on a canvas without touching it and then seeing the, the uh, thickness of the wall paint, like Van Gogh. Very mid-century. Love that. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> this figure reminds me of that Harry Potter movie where the stained glass knight came out of the stained glass and attacked somebody. I think it was Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm so tired this morning. I could hardly sleep last night because I was coming here. <gasps> Look at that. That is gorgeous. Look at the colors in that one too. And this one's so pretty. Oh, Look at that gothic window. I guess that's Jesus. Oh. And I guess that's Adam and Eve. In the garden of Eden. Oh, look at that sunshine. Is that Franklin Art Glass Studios? Columbus, Ohio. Oh, this is another thick, thick window. And there's Jesus again. Let's see. Can you tell? These are chipped glass and guess their ground to fit into the design. How pretty. Very nice. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. This is like a hanging light. Maybe in a church. And there's a glass blowing guy. That's what they do here. Fantastic. Oh, I think I missed these guys. enjoyed the tour of the Plinko Museum. It was really awesome visiting there. 
I would recommend everyone going and supporting Blinko and also going on their glass blowing tour. Fabulous time, I've heard. I did not get to go when I was there. But, um, two things that they helped me fix when I was up there, I had this pinch decanter. It's a mint color. It's a really old. It's kind of dirty, but you can see how old it is. It looks like it has pieces of maybe more bubbles than usual, maybe because it was older. A um, little more opaque. I think it's dirty, though, too. It looks like there's some water down in there. But um, Charlie from the Glass Factory, he runs back and forth. He found me an old, old new stock stopper for this mint decanter. He said this one was very old, but he did find an older decanter stopper for me. And this one is about a 1949 Winslow Anderson design. And when I purchased it, um, I got it off a of marketplace. The very tip of the decanter stopper was, was chipped a little bit. So he kind of ground it off for me made it so it wasn't sharp and it also had a clean break right here I did not know that before I purchased these things on marketplace but when I got home I figured it out but I don't tend to fret over things so it was fine and Charlie did a fantastic job he ground that top off and glued it back together for me so now I have the two older decanters all together. I love putting pieces back together. So I just adore Blinko. I have another uh, Winslow Anderson, this one, vase, and it's a tall, it's, it's a mint color like this one. So in later videos, I'll go over some more Blinko that I have in my own collection. This is from my collection, but, um, I'm just growing my collection right now. So I hope you enjoy these two pieces that Sweet Charlie fixed at the Blinko Company for me after my museum tour. So I'll see you next time.